So um, there are two missing cases going on in the Nashville area right now. Missing um, people. Yes. Yep. Missing persons cases. One is a child and one is a fraternity member, a 22 year old University of Missouri, also known as Mizzou um, student. He was a part of the Delta Chi fraternity. And this is 22 year old Riley Strain. He was at a bar in downtown Nashville, which I have been down there many, many, many times. And I have always felt so safe. It yeah, is one because of, there's so many people down there. It's close. The bars are open. I, I it's know what one you're of talking the, about. I have, felt, I have never felt unsafe in downtown Nashville. I've went drinking there tons of times. Um, and like, honestly, it's one of the safest, like drink, going out drinking places that I've ever been to. Out of like, you know, big cities like L.A., San Francisco, Chicago, like Nashville. It's a great time. It's fun. Um, and you don't you're not scared. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. So um, anyway. There's plenty of camera footage of this guy walking down streets mm -hmm. after he got kicked out of Luke uh, Bryant's bar um friday march 8th and they he i think the last bit of footage he was on gay street uh between these two bridges and it's kind of near the river so they've had a ton of like sonar helicopters they're looking for him ev for oh, him man. everywhere um here's one thing though like the bar is claiming they only served him one drink uh one drink and he, in the video footage he is falling like he is walking out of that bar they kick him out they serve him one drink kick him out he gets separated from all of his fraternity brothers and friends and is walking down the street he said he was going to go to the hotel and went literally in the opposite direction and is stumbling and falling do you know what this sounds like smiley face is what it yes, sounds like and i am does. so scared his body is about to turn up in the, that river like genuinely afraid he is being held somewhere right now and is about to pop up in that river as soon as people stop looking yes um yes that's my his family too. is hysterical right now. I really, really hope that they can find him. But let's not rule out. I get the smiley face killers as a theory. Okay, I get it. It sounds insane to a lot of people, but there is so much there. I, there the statistics that we pulled in our previous videos about this, they don't lie. <laughs> They don't like yeah. it, they're alarming the, it is alarming. And and for those of you watching, you can find uh, what we're talking about right here. But, uh, you know, there's this idea out there right now, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it came from. There's some there's been some people responding to our videos in response to it. But they were trying to say that, uh, you know, in. in at Lady Bird Lake in, um, God, I'm drawing a blank right now. What city Austin. is that? Austin, Austin. In Austin, Texas, in Lady Bird Lake, um, those are all people of like ethnic backgrounds. That is not true when it comes to smiley face uh, killers. And, and that's not true in Austin either. That's not true in Austin either. I know. So I'm not sure where that's coming it's of from. It's of all different backgrounds, including it is, white. It is of all different backgrounds. The big connection that seems to be what is appearing is that privileged backgrounds, like middle, upper class or upper class people, men, men of uh fraternity age college age kids and they all seem to have this happen we have multiple situations where footage has come out where you know they'll have one drink and be this wasted there have been uh images of vans and suburbans tied to some of these cases now what's interesting here right because we stayed we try very hard to stay science based objective based and uh stick to whatever actual factual evidence we can find um it's very easy to look at the smiley face theory and think i'll oh, get out of here there's no way there's no group nationally that could be doing this but what's strange is the evidence and the connections are there um they are so i 
I agree. don't know. I know that it it, it would I be just, important to continue digging, but it's strange. I, this is weird. It is man. it is weird, and it fits all the criteria. It fits all the red flags, and it's it's concerning. Um, the the fact that he may have been drugged that's also something we've seen um, in these cases, especially in Austin, Texas. Um, his age exactly. Uh, so also, it almost makes you wonder: Was there a if that's a possibility? Is there a plant in bars? Are they planting people in bars? Because a lot of these bar areas, bartenders will like rotate. It's an it's a literally a rotating door. Okay, it's people don't usually work at one place constantly and consistently. Um, so it almost makes you wonder, like, are they did they need extra help that night? And somebody comes in that night because it's a busy night, and they use that as an opportunity. Like, are we looking at a bartending killer? You know what I mean? Who's traveling uh, city to city, working at bars and targeting people? Like I think that. the rule of thumb here is that. There's this idea socially that, you know, don't let women walk alone. No, don't let anybody, anybody ever, yes. period, ever Men walk too. alone. Because if by chance this smiley face is real, like, dude, men are getting taken left and right. It's a, it, it, it's a wild theory. And, and you know, that men can be overpowered just as easy as a woman can if the person that's trying to overpower them it has an advantage whether it's multiple people whether one of them is so messed up from chemical or alcohol or whatever uh it, it's just the same scenario so i mean man when you're going out drinking for a night of fun i would have some kind of check-in system i would make sure that you guys don't walk alone. If that means that you need to go to the restroom with someone like men need to adopt this idea that, you know, this idea, how women the buddy go system. to the bathroom together. Okay. Yes. Well, maybe men should be doing that too, because what either give in to your ego and pride, uh, or keep your life, you know, like, right. And yeah, no exactly. Argument. Yeah. Women don't deal with that kind of like ego and pride because we've had to adapt. We, we recognize that, you know, if there is a predatory man out there, we are screwed. We need somebody. We're safer in numbers. Yeah. We have to take care of each other. We have adapted that system. And I do think it's high time men do the same exact thing. Cause if you are drugged at a bar, which they also don't usually worry about those things either. Um, but you should be, you should be looking out for that because mm. anybody can be drugged. Um, you know, you need to always babysit your drink and make sure that it's like only been in your custody period. Um, they make many different pieces of jewelry and other things that can detect those things too. They do, um, yeah. including nail polish, which a lot of men wear nail polish nowadays. So anyway, um, the videos are really like upsetting, honestly, watching him stumble along. And you I've know what's crazy? Couple. You know what's crazy is that his phone and his Apple Watch both just powered down at the same time. I heard that in the press conference. And the police are out here saying there's no indication of foul play. But you're telling me his phone and Apple Watch just failed? Why? Why didn't they At get the someone same who time? knew what they were doing to, to power them back on? Because they can be powered on remotely. I have no idea. They they don't think there's any instance of foul play. They think I'm pretty positive they think he's in the river. Whoa, dude. That's why they're there's... focusing on the river so much. <sighs> this idea. It's it because he's drunk crazy. and they're assuming he was overserved. They're assuming he's this drunk young kid and that he's so irresponsible and he went and fell in the river. You know how many people fall in the river in Nashville and how many people get wasted down there? That is so rare. Yeah. Nobody ever falls in that river. That's so rare. Yeah. Yeah. That's not normal. No, that's I I just hope we're wrong. I hope he turns up alive. I hope that 
there isn't some smiley face killer. I, 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 I just hope these things. I feel bad for his family. Well, the cops did do something really smart, and they reached out to the homeless community that was really nearby, um, the camps that are around there. Uh, so hopefully, you know, they get something out of that. But it sounds like so far they haven't. Um, but anyway. There's a GoFundMe that has raised about $47,000 so far um, to help his family um, with hotels and travel because they're down there, literally boots on the ground looking for their son. Um, mm -hmm. They're having a really hard time with it. But if anybody has information, which will put the missing poster up um, and his description which he is about i think he's six six yeah he's six six which is really 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 tall uh why is it doing this what no okay yep yeah. so he was why is it doing this why is it not just letting me see the picture Okay, so he's last seen wearing brown square toe boots, blue jeans, and a black and white button-up shirt. He's 6'6", 165 pounds with blonde hair and brown eyes. Um, call Metro Nashville Police Department at 615-862-8600. Mm. Um, now, the other little boy, which I'll mention briefly because we've already taken kind of a long time talking about this, um, is Sebastian Rogers. He's a 15 year old who um, disappeared in Sumner County. And he's been missing for quite a while now. Um, he was last seen the night of February 25th, where his family said he apparently just walked out the door with no shoes on. Um, and they don't know why and they don't know where he went. Um, he is on the spectrum. And it's just. Literally, I don't know. I don't even understand how they know he walked out of the house barefoot, but they say he walked out alone, barefoot with a flashlight and has never been seen again. Um, there was some video footage like going around where people thought it was him, but the cops now say that has nothing to do with his case. Um, no explanation. They're being super tight lipped on all the details. Um, but I still think it's important we spread around his information. It, I feel like there's hope is being lost by law enforcement. I think they're honestly going to be turning this into like a homicide investigation. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Um, I really, really do. But if you have any information, which I don't, where's his details? So Sebastian Roberts, um, so the, the, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers is 15 male, white, brown hair, brown hair, brown eyes, 5'5, 120 pounds, um, missing since February 26, 2024. If you have any information, please call 1 800 TBI find mm. or 615 451 3838, which is the Sumner County Sheriff's Office. Yes. I really hope he's brought home. It's really sad. Me too.